Hi guys. So, I have been the proud owner of the Sony Xperia XZ Premium for about six to seven weeks now. And uh, for me, it's time to start doing a review and I want to try something different here. I want to do split it in several shorter videos so I have the time for every aspect of the phone I want to go into and not end up with a one or two hour video. So it's easier for you guys to watch. Uh, also, it enables me to to already review points that are quite certain and delay the other points to later points. So I will make a playlist and put the videos there. So if you are not already subscribed, this is maybe an, an additional reason to do so. So today I want mostly to talk about the design of the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. Let's call it XZP for short. Um, and the reason I go for design first is that uh, in 2017 most high-end smartphones are quite on level. They are mostly relatively close by, so design is, is really a point where we can take a look at primarily, and especially with the XZP, uh, I call it a classic design, uh, other people industrial design, and some people maybe see uh, just a, a glossy brick phone here, but people have been already always a bit fond of brick phones if you remember the good old Nokia days and this looks very much brickier than the Nokia phones did. So um, actually the XZP is the, I think it's the biggest not tablet phone on the market this year so far. Uh, so let's take a look. This is the this deep sea black version just like it's a bit bluish but um, you can see it reflects quite heavily. The uh, silver one is is really like a mirror. You can um, you can use it for selfies perfectly or look at yourself without any troubles. Um, really, thing if you if you if you like it, take it. But you should look, take a look at it in, in the store because uh, yeah, if this is not what you want, you have a mirror and yeah, maybe a ray of sunlight will reflect there and blind you or something. So really extreme design in this way. So, um, so it's a bit blocky but it's very much in the Xperia design line which Sony has done over the last years. Uh, you see the, the bezels are quite big. The the edges here left and right are from nylon, so plastic uh, to take it short. We have a metal top and bottom, USB Type-C connector, and, uh, microphone and here the microphone for noise cancellation, a 3.5mm uh, adapter for for your audio, so nice thing, getting rare these days. Um, but buttons, uh, the, bu the buttons are from metal here, but uh, the thumb uh, sensor obviously not, but uh, actually one thing you have to note if you get the US version, the this thumb scanner is deactivated, so if you're not so technically adept in the US, you maybe want to get the international version. Um, which I really like is the dedicated camera button here, which launches the camera and you can also use it to take pictures. This is really a nice feature and yeah, it's really nice to have a button there which actually does something. So, um, I think that the, but the, the button placement is about perfect. Uh, a thing which, which is a bit uh, uncomfortable is the edge here. So this, uh, it's not very comfortable to hold and also it has a glass back so that's really something you want to put into a, a case for several reasons but mostly it's glass in the front, glass in the back so um, and the steam looks if it, as if it's already broken so yeah it's uh, it's a sturdy design and if, if you watch the video from Jerry Rick everything um, he couldn't break it by bending so it's quite sturdy design, but a glass back and glass front. One of both will break if it falls on the on the right or uh, wrong side. So it's not 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 a perfect design in my opinion. It's nice that they moved the NCF uh, sensor back on the XZ. It was up here, and I frankly I didn't did never get it to work there. And here it works quite nice. But I very I very safe to use this. Uh, um, not so much. Also, the the flash seems to be protected by the by the back glass which is Gorilla Glass 5 as the front so it should be relatively scratch resistant. There's a small edge here for the camera. I think this is mostly 
Maybe it's for deflecting scratches, so it's like, like half a millimeter. You can barely feel it, but it's there. That is maybe for, for additional protection for the camera lens, but uh, as far as uh, I saw Jerry, it's also uh, a sturdy glass one, not a plastic one. The build quality overall is quite excellent, so there are no no real edges here. So it, uh, it's a bit rounded on the display, but there are no no grooves, no nothing, no sounds you get from the device if you mal handle it. So, uh, it's a really high build quality, I think about the best at the moment out there. Uh, it's a bit heavier than most phones, uh, but this, this adds for, a, for a, a high quality feeling, even if it does not do anything to improve it, but it's a bit heavier and yeah, feels good in the hand for me. Uh, if you think I'm talking around the white elephant in the room here, um, the bezels, of course, the, most people say, oh, this looks like 2015 or something, but actually the, the big bezels for me, at first I didn't care much, but now I find them rather useful because you, you really can grab on the phone, and especially since I, I'm mostly carrying a child and filming in many of my videos, uh, you really get to appreciate if you can grab on a phone, can get good grip on a phone uh, and filming, so like I did a, a bicycle vlog while driving a few days ago and I didn't feel very, very insecure about the phone dropping because you can just grab it really good because of the big bezels and you can don't miss anything up on the screen, so yeah, I think uh, for the, in this direction is rather a pro and also if they would uh, take the, the screen or uh, the screen size correctly to 16 to 9 uh, you would get like the black bars on the on the edges here uh, too which is not really a beautiful thing I guess the Samsung S8 probably has this problem uh, the other thing which I really don't like is that the thing is so damn slippery so um, it really wants to slip out of your hand I, I just have a small exper experiment here uh, because it's, most times if you are charging it yeah, you see it's uh, it gets really slips really easily so you don't need to get slipping really easy and um, yeah it's actually a phone where you where a case of some kind is mandatory it just makes it much more safe so as you can see the difference is is enormous yeah? can just, I can almost go to <laughs> Didn't expect it to work so well. Oh, it uh, can almost go to like 85 degrees <laughs> with this one. You, I tried it on on wood that did not went so well, so well. I would have expected the glass to go faster. Actually, it does better with this. So um, it's really a phone where you cannot not have a protector and protecting case for it. This is, um, yeah, for some people it's maybe a point which turns you off. Uh, the the thing that you get thumbs on it. Actually on this phone, I must say, um, on the screen, I have to clean it much less than my other phones, which I had before, because uh, I don't know if it is safe cleaning in a way, if my, my thumb cleans it up, or if, um, or maybe maybe the shininess does something good there for you, I'm not quite sure. But uh, I really saw that it is less of a problem for me so far. Uh, still clean it and it does not look good if it's out but uh, the screen is very well readable even if um, even if it's dirty so or maybe this does not get so dirty I'm not quite sure there but this really point so let's summarize the, my ideas on the design so uh, I would say the cons are clearly the the sharp edges here the slipperiness is really does not does not do you anything good uh, that the thumb print scanner in the US version is deactivated if you are from the US. I think this is really a really big thumbs down, uh, especially if you don't know it, if you buy the device, I think this could really piss you off. Uh, I think neutral, uh, more neutral points are that you need a case for it. it yeah. You can use it without, sure, but uh, if you pay four, five, six hundred, eight hundred euros or a dollar for it, you should not do it. It's, uh, Period. Uh, the bezels, I think, yeah, from I think from a usability perspective, I find them quite useful. From a design perspective, I can understand that some people are turned off by them, so yeah, would not give it a pro or con there. Uh, I think that the curved edges here, they, um, 
Uh, it's not not really a pro or con. Uh, I think uh, I would have a bit more protection for the display. Usually, is better. On the on the upside of this, um, it really this really blocky design makes uh, traditional and cheap uh, cases work quite well. So you get a really good uh, lip above here, which protects your screen with a cheap uh, case. So both ways there. Uh, I think the the reflection stuff is that. For me, it's a bit. I'm not quite sure where I stand there. I think if you need a mirror on your daily life and you get a silver one, you don't need to carry a mirror with you anymore. So it's a pro. Uh, is that the uh, town prints get on but get off also quite nice? It is maybe a positive thing. But in day life, I would like having less reflection because the screen is quite nice. But if you go to direct sunlight, it's very hard to see. You can read it if your brightness is on maximum, but it's not perfect and yeah I don't see any real benefit besides looks from it so the the pros um, the build quality certainly this is a really good built solid phone uh, quite sturdy even with a glass back uh, I think the, the button placement for my hand size which is about large to extra large uh, is about perfect so you can use it perfectly with no matter which hand you hold it, so you can use the thumb here or the other fingers. So this is, is a really good design. Uh, I tried the other phones on the market out and they're usually not so well thought through. Uh, they actually move the sound buttons up from the from in the X set they were down here. So for a smaller hand this is maybe an advantage. Uh, it's clearly clearly not a device suited for one hand usage. So even with my with my enormous huge extra large hands you cannot really get to the edge up there so uh, barely so. another thing that you have two speakers gives you real stereo sound it's ip 68 classified so dust and water protected actually sony went away from the the advertisement where they uh, gave you the impression you could take the phone underwater and go diving with it and they are um, they now just say you, you can take it in the rain. So I don't think the phones are worse. They're probably better than the old ones, but uh, they are much more realistically with their advertisements. So um, I think this is a thumbs up for Sony for not um, not giving us dreams to shatter so early. So yeah, this concludes my my design review, and I see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will up will be up in a couple of days, or if you watch this later, or is already there for your selection. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.